Hello, my name is Cole McDonald, and this is a, another tutorial in my series of Visual Basic tutorials. And for this particular tutorial, we're going to be looking at form layout and making things look professional, responsive design content, concepts. And the tools we're going to look specifically at today are the Snap Tools, the Layout Toolbar, uh, Design Once, Copy and Paste, Anchors, and Group Boxes. So let's get started. So for this tutorial, I've created a blank project, um, just a basic visual, um, basic Windows Forms application, and I've done nothing to it. So I've just uh, created the project. So let's go ahead and do a few things. First of all, I'll just make this a little bigger so we have some room to play. And let's add a bunch of things. So let's add a button, and maybe we want the button to be in the top right corner here. And notice that when I move that button to the top right corner, see how the little blue lines appear and it snaps in there? That's great. It allows us to be consistent. So if I was to add another button, you can see that if I let it snap to the right, it actually lines up the buttons directly beneath one another. And if I highlight more than one button at a time, I can resize the buttons at the same time. And then I can move them, and so I can snap. Not only can I snap to the edges of the form, but I can also snap to other objects as well, which is pretty cool. However, if I was to take this form and shrink it, my buttons disappear. Well, that's not such a great thing. So let's make the form a little bit bigger. And because I didn't put the form back exactly where it was, I have to reline these up again. So snap them in there. So now they're snapped. So what that does now is if I highlight the two buttons, go to my properties window and change an anchor. So I can set my anchor to be instead of top left, I can do top right. And what that means is that the right hand side of the control is linked to the right edge of the form such that they'll move with respect to each other. And the same thing with the top of the form. So now if I resize the form, because the right hand side of the buttons is linked to the right edge of the form, you can see they move along nicely with it. And that's really good for layout. <coughs> So let's throw a bunch of labels. Let's say we're creating a nice little form here. And so we'll throw a bunch of labels on here. And you can see that little lines appear all over the place. But when you're doing this, you don't want to spend 10 hours laying these all out. So let's throw in a text box here. And I'm not going to name any of these or anything for the purpose of this tutorial. But now you can see that if I link this to a label, I can align it to the top of the text, the bottom of the text, or center it. And so I'm going to center that, grab another text box here, and throw this in here. Okay, And you can see I can align it to the center and align it to the text box above. Okay, I can also then, maybe I'm going to choose a numeric up down for the next one. So again, I can assign it, uh, align it centered and left justified with the other text boxes. And then maybe we'll throw a combo box in here. So we can throw in here again, we can center it, and left justify it. I must say though, that form doesn't look very good. So there's a few things wrong with it. First of all, these labels aren't all lined up, like they're all zigzaggy here. So there's a couple things that we can do. And I'm going to turn this off so I can show you how to do it. If you edit your toolbars and add a custom toolbar, and you can do that by right clicking. So if I right click on the toolbar, you can see all the toolbars that are available to us come up. The one I want to choose for our form layout is obviously the layout toolbar. So if I turn on the layout toolbar, you can see this new toolbar appears here. So if I go onto my form and I highlight a bunch of stuff, you can see that that toolbar becomes enabled. And a lot of these things are really cool. So for instance, I can align lefts. So if I align the lefts, notice all my labels are now aligned up on the left hand side, which is makes it look that way better, that much better, fantastic. Another option that I have here is make vertical spacing equal. Well, that's pretty cool. So if I did that, you can see they adjusted so they're all equidistant from another. So what that does mean though, I have to realign my text boxes, but let's use the same tools on them. If I do the left, it should already be there, because remember I lined them up when I started? So that's fine, let's do equal distance, and that's great too. So, but is this still centered? So if I was to move this around, you can see I can still be centered on the label and in a line. And you can get this so very quickly and very easily. Oops, I double click. Don't double click. Very quickly and easily, you can align things up in a consistent and nice look and feel. And those are really, really important. So you can go ahead. 
Another thing we're going to look at, so we looked at really quick at snap toolbars, the layout design, and anchors. All right. So let's look at a couple more things. We're going to look at group boxes next. So say you have a bunch of stuff, like you're doing somebody's address, and then you're doing billing information, and then you're asking a question that's like a rating question. And it's really a good idea to group things together. So if we close up the common controls here and we add containers, we can add a group box. And by adding a group box here, what we can do is very quickly put some text in here and let's say ranking, we'll call it. And then we can add some radio buttons to this. So we'll go back to our common controls and add some radio buttons. So because I've got my group box highlighted, when I double click radio buttons, they actually appear inside the group box. So let's put four things in here. Now, I want these to all line up. So let's see here what equal distance does. Um, maybe they're a little tight still, but let's highlight them again and lock justify them. That's not so bad, that looks pretty good. So they're lined up nicely already, really quickly. And you can do things like now within, you can snap within the box itself. So maybe I want to add a label here. And the label will say, <coughs> rate this video something like that and then I can bring this down a little bit and then maybe you want to end into that a bit from the question then radio button one can be very good uh, radio button two can be good radio button three could be oh don't double click careful don't double click so radio three could be poor and radio button four could be horrible. All right. So really quickly and, and efficiently, you can line things up and make things really lay out nicely and professionally. The other thing that you want to do is say I want to now add a third button to this thing. Let's say I take this button and I change its background color to pink and then set the four color to white and maybe that font looks a little small so let's up that to 12 point font make it bold um, and we'll change the text to save okay now you can see my buttons are aren't the same they're not consistent so in order to have consistent buttons it's really important to make them all look the same so I'm just going to delete button 2 here rather than doing all the same property changes to it. I changed five different properties there. So I don't want to have to change five different properties for every single button. So it's easier just to create the one button, copy and paste it, put it in there, copy and paste it. I want this one down here. And then just change the things that are different. So for instance, this button is going to be um, reset. All right. And then I have to set its name to button reset. And I don't think, it, you know, I didn't set the first one. So we'll change that to button save. And then the, this one here, we're going to change that to button exit. Change the text to exit. And then we want to make sure we set the anchor because the anchor is not going to be anchored to the top for this button. We're going to anchor it to the bottom, meaning the bottom edge of the button is locked to the bottom edge of the form. So now when I go ahead and do this, you can see that they move with the respective anchors. Now, obviously, this isn't a good situation. That just doesn't look very good. So what you want to do is sort of play with this a little bit and find out where the minimum you want it to be. Okay, so that's about good right there. So we're going to take this form now and look at the size. 345 by 377. Let's make these more round numbers. So we'll go 350 and 375. So that's a good layout there. So what I can do is I can take this size here and make that the minimum size. Okay. Now, when I move my form around, you can see that it, it always plays nicely, and no matter what I do, it's never going to overlap. So really good form layout properties. So we've got the, the radio button here, we've got the toolbars, and that's really, really well done. Okay? And so design wants copy and paste, so it's quite often when you're doing this, you're going to change multiple properties. So if you're doing the same thing multiple times, Get one to be exactly the way you want it to be, and then copy and paste it and just change the things that need to be changed. You can also, however, highlight all the different things at the same time using the control key, and then change the uh, control to be what you want it to be all at once. So that's also a good way to go about doing it. 
So that's the tutorial on form layout, anchors, responsive design, and using the layout toolbar to do all kinds of things. Obviously I can't cover everything, but that gives you a really good start and you can discover the other options on your own. Thank you.